All right, well, we made it to Tuesday. Got some sleep last night, which is well needed. Um, got the truck here at the truck wash. Um, it's not clean by any means, but it was filthy muddy. As you can see, it's probably just gonna get the same as I leave the lot here. Uh, but I got the truck all hosed off. Couldn't stand the mud being all down the side of it. And the trailer hadn't been sprayed off in 10,000 miles. Um, I figured there's the Mazda and there's the Audi. Um, so I figured I'd do a little review after having this Kaufman trailer for about 10,000 miles on the road. As you can see, um, the paint is terrible. Um, that bend is my bad in that. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Um, but the paint is terrible. I mean, I understand like stuff like this is going to happen because a forklift rubbed up, up against it. Um, but the paint chips, especially, you won't be able to see in the video, but underneath, uh, the paint chips are terrible. Oh, Kenworth uh, making some noise this morning. But all across the front here, I was spraying it off thinking it was mud, no rock chips. But, hey, it's an $8,000 trailer, so you get what you're for, right? Uh, but it does the job. Uh, we're headed to Pittsburgh with both of these black cars. Truck isn't cleaned by any standards, but it looks better than it did. And I didn't just pay the Blue Beacon 80 bucks to do my truck and trailer. I spent about $7.50 right down the road from the Blue Beacon. So we're going to keep keep on keeping on today see if we can't get these delivered and uh, hopefully make a little bit of money after yesterday's fiasco it was a little too cold out there for that a wind blowing about 30 miles an hour but other than the paint I don't have any other complaints with this trailer um, tires are wearing evenly like I said it's probably got about 10,000 miles on it now um, all lights have had zero issues I mean I've had new trailers before and the first couple months you get a, a light issue or because moisture is getting in there. Um, other than that, everything's been alright. I bent the end of that trailer. I had an issue. It was a personal car of mine. Uh, slide off, start to slide off the trailer in the ice. Um, and that end of that um, where the ramps hook in actually bent. No big deal, I just haven't got the time to beat it with a hammer uh, to get it back and straight. Um, the areas that the paint's chipping, um, probably once the weather breaks, you know, once it's 60, 70 degrees, I'm probably just going to the, the high, I say the high traffic areas where the rocks are hitting and stuff like that or where the, you know, forklift may rub up against it. I'm probably just gonna lightly sand it and then hit it with some like rhino lining just to better protect it. Uh, I don't see myself getting rid of this trailer. Uh, yes, I'm going to be getting a bigger setup, but you know, with a bigger setup, there comes more problems. So it'd always be nice to have a truck and trailer that is ready to work no matter what. So yeah, 2019 Kaufman two car, it's 35 and a half feet with the drive over fenders for dually trucks, which I haven't had a dually on it yet, um, but I know I'm gonna have to. I like the option of being able to do that. The, the fenders that you can't drive over or park on top of, I've seen people park a dually with the rear, with just the inner tires on the trailer like that. That's not something I want to do. That's just asking for DOT to pull you over. And then that's when they get nosy. So, yeah, we're continuing here to Pittsburgh. We're going up the, uh, the turnpike now, which it's a shame we have to pay on this terrible road. But that's the only way to get to Pittsburgh in a timely manner. So, I will uh, I'll give you a little update here shortly when I get the uh, picking up a uh, Chevy Traverse and a BMW today. Um, all going different locations so I'll keep you updated with my plan for the rest of the week well, once I have these cars on my trailer because nothing's set in stone until that happens well we got the first one dropped off and the second one picked up for today 
swapped out the uh, Audi with a BMW. BMW's headed to Richmond. Figure I'll get the dog out and go for a walk. Well, this guy is, we're waiting on him to get to his house so we could deliver his Mazda to him. Uh, we got plenty of time today, so we're relaxing. Figure I'd get the dog out, go for a little walk, and see if we can't walk through the park here. But yeah, so we're making good time, even though we're kind of not really doing anything right now. It feels good to take a minute and relax and not be running around like yesterday. So Oakley's happy. She's on a track of something, so I'm sure she'll go over here in this uh, Catholic church's park and take a poop somewhere, so I guess I'll be cleaning that up. Major key, Odessa and Pittsburgh. I found this car once I was pointed into the right lot within 45 seconds. And I was the only one in line to get checked out, so we are going to find the Duramax here. And we're gonna get this son of a bitch loaded up. We're gonna get home. 